This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. The 31st Father Marsh and Peters basketball tournament rolling along at the Kendall Isaacs Gym. Our Julian Gibson was courtside yesterday as the primary girls took center stage. Benson meet Antonise Moultrie. She's better than all the political parties combined. PLP, FNM, DNA, whatever you want to call them. She scored 22 points, 11 rebounds. In fact, Kingsway Academy scored 22 points in the ball game. And Anthony's Moultrie, she scored all of them herself, but it was in a losing effort to St. Cecilia, 24 to 22. Anthony's, girl, you got game. I just died and I couldn't do it no more. Even a coach realizes that Anthony's Moultrie, she's the real deal. She's a national team player, but sadly for the rest of the team, we're rebuilding. So everybody else is trying to rally around her to help us move forward. They're playing hard on defense, but, but she's our bread and butter. Now winning the ball game was St. Cecilia, their head coach, where he was satisfied just to get a win. Down the stretch, I, I got some girls on my bench who, um, the third graders and fourth graders, I wanted to get them some play, but it got a little tight down there, so I had to pull them back to seal the win. How far can your girls go? We can go far. We have, I have one of the best uh, girls in primary school, one of the best in primary school. And I got a big girl who could finish, so I'm pretty good. I could be, I could be in the dance. Temple Christian in the gold T-shirts. Michael Scudery, the official, also has on a gold T-shirt. Scooter, you gonna mix up the girls? Well, Temple Christian, they were mixed up, all right. Woodcock Primary beating Temple Christian eight to seven. Our girls battled it out. You know, came to fight, we came to hustle. Uh, we, we, we're glad we came up with it. From the start of the game, we came out flat, and then it's about all about discipline. Uh, if, if the girls don't come up with discipline and listen to what, what is being said, things like that would happen. They would get beat. Can you get your girls to get, in, uh, get back into the tournament and start winning? Well, like I said to them, it's all, about, it's all up to them now to want to play, to continue. Like I said to them, you cannot lose again if you want to make it a sad day. But we'll bounce back and we'll be ready. St. Francis Joseph Shockers. Boy, they shocked the daylights out of Carlton Francis Primary. Listen to this 21 to 1. Oh, girl, really dominated that game. Um, Carlton Francis was a, a weak team. I just want to see how, how my girls would perform against a, a better team. I'm on a rebuilding stage, you know, for the last past three years. My girls have won the government school. This year, I bring no grade six. I have a couple of grade five, a couple of grade three. Reporting for ZNS Total Sports, I am Julian Gibson. Now the staging of the Father Martian tournament is handled by the sports unit at the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture. The unit wants to venture into even more initiatives, but that can only be done if there are more sports officers in place. We can probably have people work on weekends to develop youth leagues rather than just camps. I think leagues work better than camps. There's a place for camps, but I saw um, it's, it's more important for a kid to exercise what they have learned in the camp in a league. And so I, I will try my endeavor best this coming year to see that uh, youth leagues that were around in the early 70s and late, uh, early 80s be developed in this country so that any kid who wants to practice what they have learned in a camp would be able to join a team within their community and be able to develop their skills in game settings. The CC Sweden Cobras have been one of the more dominant senior boys basketball teams in the past few years. Early on this season though, the Cobras have faced some adversity and head coach Mario Boleg was asked how this year's team compares to those he's had before. It isn't as strong as far as it relates to the senior players uh, uh, who have the experience. Uh, you know, when I look at the starting lineup this year, we got three guys in grade 10. Just came to CC is starting in the starting lineup. So, and then with two 11 graders. So, it, it, it shows that we, we have some growing pains to go through. But at the end of the day, I only need five players to go to basketball court to believe in my system. And, uh, and they need to just play with heart and desire. And I think the boys understand as long as they play with heart and desire and they got their willingness to win uh, and they're disciplined to the system, trust me, we'll be there. The countdown is on for the Caribbean Showcase Pro Boxing Card. 
Action starts 8 p.m. on Friday at the Kendall Isaacs Gym. Misha Major Payne will be in the main event. Misha's in tip-top condition. He's in best form I've ever seen him. Um, at this time, right now, Misha, Misha's hungry. He's, um, you know, he wants, he's, he wants that British Commonwealth title. So right now, he's really, really focused. And I think um, he's going to have, he's going to have a challenge. Like, you know, this guy, this guy is um, no soft touch. You know, Misha, he's going to have to really, really um, put up a real, real, real violent effort. And um, I think with his conditioning and his experience, Misha should come out on top. And that will do it for sports. Stay tuned to check on weather still to come.